Augman Code, which is one of the big dogs in the AI coding space, just launched Augie CLI. It's their terminal-based code assistant with deep code-based knowledge. It uses Augment's context engine, which is what they're really known for. And in this video, basically what I want to do is I want to show you how Augie works, how to best use it. And I also want to thank the team at Augment for sponsoring this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So to set up Augie CLI, all you have to do is run the installation command cd into your project and run augie dash dash login it's going to forward you to the augment code set you're going to create an account and then once you've done that literally all you have to do is go to your project of choice and then type in the word augie in your terminal and then you have this pop up now the first thing that augment code is going to do is index the code base and i will say that was pretty fast um, and that's one of the secret sauces that augment code has it's context engine i don't know how it works but it's quite fantastic because what i'm going to do is I'm going to ask it. I was actually going to type, I'm going to ask it, but I'm going to say, please review the code base and tell me what this web app does. And we're going to let Augie explain to us what this code base is and what it really does. So it's done reviewing the code base. It tells me that it's a Next.js web app and it serves two main purposes. The first one is a personal portfolio. And then the second was an AI chat interface. So that's true. If you go, if I go on the local host, if I go to localhost 3000, I'm just working on a portfolio concept. And then if I do slash chat, I have a whole chat app. If I hit welcome and then hit enter, so you see I get a response, right? So it's both an AI chat interface, but also a personal portfolio. So I'm going to ask it, what features can I add to my AI chat interface to make it better? So there's a couple recommendations. It's giving me UI UX enhancements, persistence and memory, functionality improvements, advanced features, analytics, security, specialized features. So there's a couple I like. I like typing indicators, show when AI is thinking. I also do like persistence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, please add typing indicator when AI is thinking. I actually like that. So I'm going to get Augie to add that feature. And then what we'll do is we'll add the uh, chat history persistence. We'll just store it locally for now. I just want to show you again what your workflow with Augie is going to look like. All right, Augie says it's done. What I created a new typing indicator component, animated bouncing dots with staggered timing, smooth fade in animation. Okay, cool. And then it gives me a little code snippet of how it works. Let's just test it out. I'm going to say welcome and hit send. And all that looks nice. And it even matches like the Apple theme that I have going on here, which I appreciate Augie catching on and using that to build the typing indicator. Okay, so that's awesome. Now let's build a message persistence, but let's store it locally. So I want the messages to be persisted, but I want it to be stored locally. Just finish implementing message persistence. It says it created a utility message dash persistence dot TS. And there's a couple functions in there. Save message, load message, clear message. I love it. I love it. And if I go and I check, how are you? And I hit send. AI is thinking. I'm using a thinking model um, generating response. And then if I refresh, messages are persistent. One last thing about Augie I want to show you is how good it is again at its indexing. So I'm going to say, show me where in this code base, the Apple passes are generated. So this is a pretty large code base uh, that I've been working on. There's a lot of code in this. There's a lot of packages and a lot of stuff that's going on. And it just finished indexing, indexing the code base. And I asked it like where in the code base is our Apple passes created. And in just a few seconds, right? I didn't edit anything. You just saw it in just a few seconds. It was able to identify exactly where Apple passes were generated. For context, this code base generates Apple passes, right? That's what it does. And you have to use a lot of packages and there's a lot of dot pass files. It's a very annoying. Uh, this is one of the most annoying code bases I've had to work on, but it figured it out in just a few seconds and it's telling me uses wallet pass slash pass.js library with the template lo located in store card pass certificates pass generations and it even mentions that i have push notifications set up and that ladies and gentlemen is augie cli by augment code if you want to check it out the link is in the description below i highly encourage it it's super fun it's great with large code bases if you're a serious developer then this might be the ai tool for you thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.